Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Sayyad Bakar Shah Kazmi, and you're watching IJS Biology. The topic of today is menstrual cycle. Menstrual cycle can be defined as a cyclic events, cyclic events including sequence of all reproductive events. The cyclic events including also including sequence of all reproductive events that occurs in female reproductive system is called as a menstrual cycle we can define it as again as a cyclic event including sequence of all reproductive reproductive events in female reproductive system called female reproductive cycle or menstrual cycle as soon as concerned the phases we can divide the whole cycle into two major phases that is the ovarian cycle which occurs within the ovary while the second one is called uterine cycle which occurs within the uterus there are four there are uh, three major phases of uh, menstrual cycle the first one is the menstrual phase which uh, last which uh, duration of which is about day 1 to day 5 during the menstrual cycle uh, following events occurs first of all the thick uh, hormone dependent functional layer of endometrium detaches thick hormone dependent functional layer of endometrium detaches from the uterine wall and the, and the deepest part of the endometrium sheds. Revise it again. That uh, menstrual phase initiated with the with the thick hormone dependent function of endometrium detaches from the uterine wall, and the deepest part of the of the endometrium shed. This leads to the uh, bleeding. Uh, for three to five days and the tissue debris along with uh, the blood cut process through the vagina ovarian hormones are at their lowest level ovarian hormones ovarian hormones are at their lowest level while the gonadotropins begins to rise so Thick hormone dependent functional layer endometrium detaches from the uterine wall. Deepest part of the endometrium sheds. Process is accompanied with the bleeding of uh, for three to five days and the tissue debris along with blood cut passes through the vagina. After the menstrual phase, the second phase initiated, which is called as proliferatory phase or pre-ovulatory phase this phase initiated with the increase in the FSH hormone which is called as follicle stimulating hormones this uh, the rise in the FSH stimulates stimulates few follicles to increase their size some of the follicle in the ovary started to increase in their size and these follicles compete with each other. These follicles compete with each other to be dominated. Only one grow to a large size while the rest are degenerated with the process which is called as follicular atresia. Follicular atresia. The follicle which increase its size is called graphene follicles. And this graphene follicles has an oocyte in it. The graphene follicle have uh, an oocyte in it. Beside it, uh, FSH uh, stimulate graphene follicle to release another hormone which is called as estrogen hormone. The estrogen and FSH has a negative feedback with each other. The, if the level of the FSH increases, the level of uh, estrogen decreases and then when the FSH uh, level decreases, the estrogen level increases. So, uh, 
what estrogen uh, will do uh, estrogen vascularize and glandularize the uterine wall and prepare the uh, uterus for the incoming embryo beside it uh, uh, the cervical mucus uh, which is thick and sticky but uh, when the level of uh, estrogen rises uh, it become thin and crystalline this facilitate the movement of sperm and uh, help in the fertilization process uh, high level of estrogen then uh, stimulate the uh, stimulation uh, that stimulate uh, the release of another hormone which is called as lh luteinizing hormone and uh, this occurs at the 14th day of uh, the cycle now the sudden increase in the lh level uh, releases egg from the uh, uh, from the ovary and this process is called as oviduct sorry it's process called ovulation and the egg come into the oviduct for the fertilization and this whole process completed in the 5 minutes within 5 minutes now lh convert rupture follicle into a glandular mass which is called as corpus luteum with the formation of corpus luteum the process of pre ovulatory phase uh, uh, end and the new uh, phase which is called a secretory or post ovulatory phase has started now in this phase uh, endometrium prepare for the implanting of the of the embryo corpus luteum secrete uh, progesterone which affects uh, uh, endometrium and uh, this cause uh, arteries uh, to elaborate and uh, convert functional layer into glandular layer again uh, uh, i revise for you people that uh, when the progesterone uh, uh, secretion occurs uh, the estrogen prime endometrium uh, the arteries to elaborate arteries to elaborate so the elaboration of arteries convert convert functional layer to a glandular layer the elaboration of arteries the functional layer converted into glandular layer now uterine glands uh, enlarge coil and then secrete a glycogen and this glycogen uh, remains in, within the uterus as a uh, source of food for the uh, incoming embryo so this happens when the uh, when the fertilization occurs uh, fertilization occurs then the implantation of embryo occurs and then it start feeding upon uh, glycogen initially if there is no fertilization then if there is no fertilization then the corpus luteum degenerates the cap the de degeneration of the corpus luteum the lh level declines and the progesterone level progesterone level also falls at the 28th day the setup for the maturation uh, occurs and the the mastel phase start again this is uh, the whole uh, of uh, menstrual cycle uh, but we summarize it is uh, summarize it again that the menstrual cycle is the name of the cyclic event of uh, um, cycling event including the sequence of all reproductive events in the female reproductive cycle so uh, phases primarily ovarian phase occurs in the ovary and the uterine phase occurs in the uterus uh, the first phase is uh, menstruation phase in the menstruation phase we know that uh, the functional of endometrium uh, detaches and the deepest uh, part of the endometrium sheds and this um, leads to the release of uh, cellular debris along with the blood through vagina and um, ovarian hormones at their lowest level where the gonadotropin at their highest level so the uh, pre in, within the pre ovulatory phase uh, the fsh releases the rise in the fsh stimulates some of the follicles to increase in the, their size competition occurs one uh, uh, follicle retain as a as a dominant one while the rest of the uh, follicle degenerate through the follicular atresia the 
remaining follicle form the graphene follicle and this graphene follicle has an oocyte and this graphene follicle later um, releases the progesterone the high level of fsh stimulate to the secretion of estrogen the estrogen bring some changes within the uterus for the implantation of embryo the the, the most uh, important one is the vascularization and the glandulization of the uh, uterus uh, uh, uterus wall rest uh, the cervical mucus become uh, crystalline and thin which facilitate the movement of sperm and the fertilization uh, later the high level of estrogen leads to the release of another hormone which is called lh high level of lh releases over from the ovary into the ovary duct this process is called ovulation and this process occurs within a five minutes now uh, lh convert the rupture follicle into the glandular follicle which releases uh, corpus luteum the next one phase is secretory post ovulatory phase the corpus luteum when releases a progesterone the progesterone effects on the um, endometrium it convert uh, uh, the functional layer into the glandular layer beside it uh, uterine wall glands increases and the glycogen secretions occurs uh, if fertilization occurs then uh, the process of uh, uh, implantation of embryo and the uh, pregnancy and the development uh, started if there is no uh, fertilization then uh, the LS level declines its progesterone level also falls and at the 28th day the again stage set for again for the menstrual cycle menarch the first menstruation is called menarch and when the menstruation cycle ends in the female at the age of 48 and 40 50 it's called as menopause this is all about uh, the menstrual cycle i hope you understand it well if you have any question you can ask in your feedback until the next video thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh